Friends, today is Thursday, December 23. We are one day away from Christmas Eve day. It's getting exciting. And uh, it's 2021, of course. Final day is coming up. This is the VPC Daily Video Devotional. And today I'm going to read four verses from the beginning of John. I'm going to be preaching on these on, on Christmas Eve uh, tomorrow evening. And they are great verses. Let's listen to John speak to us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him. Without him, not one thing was made. Not one thing that was made that was made, is the old translation. Not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. Whew. And that life was the light of all people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, friends, we uh, this is a season we think a lot. Uh, people are asking us in our family and among our friends, and we think a lot about it anyway, about what we want for Christmas. What would we really like to start the new year with? Is there a new gadget we need? Is there a, a, a new uh, practice that we need to start, that we need a membership to a club or a training center? Are there new clothes that we need to be wearing? Is there a new vehicle that we need to have? Lots of time thinking about what we want for Christmas. And that's probably because we're people that have a lot of desires and also because we're the most advertised group that any ever existed. Uh, but also, in addition to thinking about what we want, if we're connected in and have friends and family, we're thinking about what they want and we're going out and searching for it or we're looking for it online. But it's interesting. Christmas, at its deepest level, is about what God wants, isn't it? It's about this shocking and amazing fact that what God most wants is us, you and me. That's what God wants for Christmas. He wants us to know a life in connection with him that is gloriously free and full, right up to the brim with love and joy and peace. He wants us to have a form of life that enlightens everyone who experience, experiences it. He is not deterred by our rebellion and our rejection. That's the message of Christmas. Mm. The world is in rebellion and rejection. He's not put off by our selfishness or our waywardness. He wants to bring his light into that kind of darkness, that kind of personal darkness that kind of social darkness. He wants to bring his light to us. We're going to use on Christmas Eve. You can listen to it in advance. I'll give you a little advance clue. All I want for Christmas is you. I want you to listen to that song and think about today's devotional. All God wants for Christmas is you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the power of the night that is coming tomorrow night. And we thank you that you went on history's longest journey. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. What a journey. Much longer than Nazareth to Bethlehem. <laughs> it was a journey down, down, down from heaven into the womb of a teenager, down into the mess of human life, down into the history that was filled with tyrants and ambitious emperors, down into the mess of human confusion about purpose, and about truth. You took history's longest journey for us because all you wanted for Christmas was us. Help us to trust that and to know that life that you intend full of joy and peace. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.